Did you say you weren't live yet? Nope, I, I'm just going. How's it going? We're about ready to go live. We got a uh, customer burn from Lincoln, Nebraska to do this evening. Just, uh, it'll be kind of a quick burn. Uh, I guess maybe an hour and a half to do it, so... Uh, just figured we'd go live and show you guys, and hope everyone's uh, turkey day's off to a good start. Well, turkey weekend, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's get... Alright. Got my iPad so I can see comments you guys send in. Let me get following the slide here. Alright. Let's get started. So we do use the Dremel VersaTip 2000 to do our wood art. Now this is a pretty big sign and really there's just one word going on it. Shitter. To my understanding, the person that ordered this wanted it for their man cave. Alright, we are going to start with, I think, the T's in the middle here. And we'll do probably this half, and then we'll flip the board and do the other half. Hey, thank you guys. Glad you like it. We are going to go pretty dark around the board because we're going to use uh, tongue oil to finish it. So we definitely want to make sure it stands out around the words. Hopefully everyone's week is wrapping up nicely. Alright, we are going to burn between the two T's here. Get it nice and dark like. We are burning on pine, so every now and then we'll get some sap that seeps up through the board. That's okay. It's part of the process. Hopefully it just doesn't destroy anything we're burning intentionally here. Little sap there. It's all right, adds a little flavor to the board. This is your first time watching, welcome. As you can probably guess, I'm using these knives to deflect the heat from where I am wanting 
the flame to burn. Or we're going here. So you can kind of see what a completed burn looks like over here. This is something that the wife and I decided we were going to offer up uh, for people to give away as presents or whatnot. It is located on our Etsy page. Usually every Christmas or holiday season we'll come up and uh, figure out some sort of joint project we're going to go in on and, and offer people. Kind of mass produce in, in other words. My plan is to wake up early tomorrow and burn a few more of those. Alright, let's get one of our cookie cutters out to help us here. Kind of feeling Mr. Dinosaur wherever he went. There he is. Sometimes we'll use cookie cutters to help us with radius uh, kind of burn, so I want this tea to look pretty good. So just hold it. And I apologize if my big head gets in the way, like it usually does. So after we get done with a nice dark burn around the letters, we will burn the rest of the board outside of the letters. Uh, kind of like what you see, how we did it over here. This kind of gives it a nice look. But yeah, like I said, we're going to finish this with tongue oil, so it's not going to have this high shine that uh, that other board you see has. Will definitely have more of a softer sheen to it. If you guys have any questions, holler them out. I have my iPad here to help with comments. Also, let me know where you're watching in from. I'm coming to you from Omaha, Nebraska this evening. Quite a bit of sap on this board, that's all right. Kind of gives a unique flavor to it. From Bahamas, welcome! Hopefully the weather is treating you nice down there. I haven't been to the Bahamas. I've been to Cancun. And then of course the wife, she's been kind of everywhere. Down around Jamaica. Yeah, I can do them in cursive. Takes a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, cursive would be good. Pretty much I do most of the boards based on customer specs, whatever they want, and then my wife and I will work with the customer and get it get it the way they want it. So I 
<laughs> 700 islands, huh? That would be fun. I could do them for all of your guys' tiki huts down there. If that's a thing in the Bahamas, tiki huts. Alright, we got the one T done. We're moving on to the next T here. I know that word does say what you guys read there. Shitter. It's going in someone's man cave right up outside their uh, water closet. Alright, we got one from the Bahamas. Where else are you guys watching in from this evening? Coming to you from Omaha, Nebraska. Listening to some tunes in the garage and just doing this quick burn. We're going to the area tomorrow where we're going to deliver this to customer. Uh, they're going to finish it with the tongue oil. Typically I use uh, spar urethane or polyurethane. Hey, Nebraska Transplant in Arizona. Central Nebraska, welcome. Uh, New Mexico, Tennessee. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I just do it whatever the customer wants. They wanted a big old sign that says shitter, they're gonna get a big old sign that says shitter on it. Colorado, welcome! Connecticut, how are you doing? You know, I don't believe I've ever had anyone from Connecticut in this room. So welcome. Or maybe I have and they just uh, didn't say anything. Can I do gun racks? I'm sure I could. Uh, West Virginia, Ohio, welcome. A couple people from Ohio, Texas. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about Ohio. I'm not sure what all that's about. I haven't really read into them. Louisiana, Tennessee, Ohio, welcome you guys. Can I get a Virginia all right all right we got some people traveling around I guess the main question is where are you guys in America tonight are you guys traveling for the holiday and using the TikTok to get away from family New York the Bronx Yeah, you can definitely pick up in person in Omaha. We're located near the Millard Airport. You can reach out to my wife, Sonia Pinkyfield. I don't know if she's watching. Uh, you can click on the link tree and connect with us uh, via one of the uh, other social media outlets. But yeah, we can definitely set that up. Staying in God's country? All right, all right. My apologies if I don't get to your comments right away. The last thing I want to do is be reading the comments and then slip up with this butane torch. Catch a nice, uh, nice burn. I don't want to land in the ER on this holiday weekend, or this holiday, so... 
I mean, could you see that conversation in the ER? What were you doing, sir? Oh, I was uh, going live on TikTok and reading comments. Oh, by the way, I had a butane torch in my hand and just really fucked myself up. It's called the Dremel Versatip, model number 2000. It's a butane torch. If you guys like this board here, it is available on Etsy by clicking on my link tree in my profile. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do another run of a couple more, maybe two or three more boards, and have those ready to go for people. But typically I do things on a custom order basis. This we are mass producing and will be... Uh, selling this holiday season. Every year my wife and I try to get something together and offer it to the public. Uh, let's see here. Which way do I feel like going? Maybe we'll just go one letter out on each side, kind of work our way, and then I can adjust the camera as needed. So we'll do the I over here. Maybe I'll put this right here so people just join in can kind of see what's going on. Looks to be kind of out of the comments. Let's move it this way just a skosh. There we go. So what I really like using is uh, pine. It burns pretty good. Um, it doesn't stink all that bad. I'm doing this in the garage of my house, so some bleeds over into the house, so I'd rather have good smelling wood. Um, but yeah. shit her. It is how the... <laughs> yep, take it. <laughs> it is how the customer wanted it. He will be uh, putting this in his man cave above the door to his bathroom. So, whatever. Whatever works. Oh, you like oak or maple? Yeah, I like oak too. Uh, it's a little on the pricey side, you know, but... Uh, Especially since I'll just be covering most of them with polyurethane. I don't want to necessarily do that to oak. Um, but yeah. Again, my apologies if I don't get to your comments right away or if I miss them completely. Like I said, the last thing I want to do is slip up and uh, nail this with to my hand. Is it centered? Yep. It is 42 inches long by like 11, whatever it is. It's like 11 and a quarter tall. And if it's not totally centered, what I'll do is I'll burn a nice dark border around it and kind of center it up that way. Or if I need to, I can take a little off the top. A little bit of smoke inhalation. Nothing major. Have I done red oak? Nope, not yet. You know, uh, that's not the first time I've gotten that kind of 
I just laser engrave. Well, if you laser engrave, you don't get to play with fire. I like playing with fire. What can I say? Plus, there's just something doing things by hand that I enjoy. this knife. It is a Dremel Versatip 2000. So this board over here that's uh, finished is a Days to Remember board. It will come with uh, 36 little wood burnt chips that people can hang under it underneath the months for the days they want to remember. If you guys were curious about it. That'll work. Hey, thank you. Glad you like it. Let's see here, 1.5 thousand likes. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do this E over here. So I'm going to shift this piece of paper over here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I went out and bought my own cookie cutters to use. Not sure where I got them from, Dollar Tree or Menards or something like that. Dollar General. No, I do not tattoo. I am definitely way too shaky of a person to hold a, anything nice and steady. Before I burn, I make sure I have a good meal in me so I'm not completely shaking all over the place. sucks. Alright, hold on. I gotta grind some of this shit off. Every now and then you get some sap built up on the knives. So you gotta... Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'm not the only one that burns after meals. But then again, are we talking about the same burning? Hey, thank you, Jen Jen. Like Glad you like it. Yeah, we're just doing a quick burn here. Want to get this done so that when I'm down in the area, I can deliver it to the customer tomorrow for Thanksgiving. called a Dremel Versatip Model 2000. It's a Dremel uh, butane torch. I keep asking Dremel if they want me to do a TikTok directly for them and haven't gotten any word, although they jump on all my videos and will like and comment on them. So.
Oh, yes. Yeah, the wood does catch fire from time to time. You can just blow it out. It's just a quick surface burn that I'm doing to it, so it's not nothing that would last long. Especially if I hit a pile of uh, sap or a knot. The knots typically burn up in flames, but yeah, she'll flame up on you. I don't use any tip, I pull all the tips off of it and just burn with an open flame. I use the knives to help direct uh, where I want the heat to go. So it will burn anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on what temperature you're using. I'm using just a little bit above the lowest setting. Um, but when I'm doing the, the large areas, I'll crank it up and have to fill it up every about 25 minutes, I'd say. Here, I'm not quite sure I understand the question there. Uh, so, you know, it just depends on the size and what you want it to say, the design. Uh, you can reach out to me via one of my other social medias on, uh, if you go to my profile. And uh, I can show that real quick. You go to my, click on this top corner here, click on the picture again, you have a Linktree account. You click on the Linktree, and it will take you to my socials. Uh, these are some other projects i burned. What I do is I download the lives and I speed them up for your enjoyment. Uh, you can see kind of a start to finish in about 20 seconds. Most of the time, yes, I do put reference points on the board so I can keep things in line, uh, or stencil, or whatever you want to call it. Typically, I'll use a projector and project an image up onto the board, lay it out with some light pencil marks or references, and uh, go at it that way. With this sign, what I did was I notched, so I projected it and put couple of references on it so that I know where I gotta start, where I gotta stop, stuff like that. Just line it up and away we go. I'm not using a bigger blade, I'm using a wide open torch. Oh, you're talking putty knife? Yeah, every now and then. I got different sizes. Uh, the larger you go, the more that the blades will warp as you're going. They're really thin. So, I like to use... This is probably my favorite. I got a fair amount of sap on there that I got to clean off before I use it again. But, uh, well, this one has some sap on it as well. 
but uh, if I just kind of switch it up. dinosaur out here to help me with the radiuses. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so speaking of the blades, I should probably get the sap off of these two real quick. clean blades to use again here. If you guys are liking what you see, check out the rest of my profile. I download the videos for your enjoyment and speed them up. Um, also, if you're looking for something else, we are selling these signs uh, for the holiday season. I'll be making a few more tomorrow. Just every uh, holiday season, the wife and I, we put together some projects that we mass kind of produce and get them out there. You know, I really like pine. Uh, start to finish on this will be, let's see here, we've been going at it for about 30 minutes. I kind of projected this board would take an hour and a half. Some of my other boards that you'll see on my profile, they'll take anywhere between two and six hours, just kind of depending on the design. Nope, this is for a customer in Lincoln that ordered it to go above their bathroom door in their man cave. So it's pretty large. It's 42 inches by... Uh, about 11 and an eighth, I think is what it measured out to, this piece of wood. So yeah, once I go around, do the outline, then I'll do a, a lighter burn in between the letters to bring out the grain like I did over here. This board is finished with some uh, polyurethane, so it, it is super shiny. This one will have a uh, tongue oil finish. I burn with the Dremel VersaTip 2000. So I'm interested, are you guys repeat visitors, or uh, are you guys new to seeing this? Seems like I get a lot of people that stop back in that have seen it a couple times before. Oh, you just scrolled through. Well, welcome. Appreciate you stopping by. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that follow button, or that uh, however you follow people, and uh, that will notify you of when I'm going live again. Like 
so yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing some more of uh, these boards over here for sale out on our Etsy page. And then I believe I got a couple other big boards I need to do. One is actually going to be like a stove cover to, so that someone can use it to extend their countertop space. So that'll be kind of cool. I'm glad this is uh, intriguing to you. It's definitely fun to do. It's not too expensive to get into as well. The boards my daughter and I will typically make together. Uh, this is just one solid piece I got from Home Depot. It took some time to find a piece that wasn't so damn warped or had some goofy cut to it. And that was minimal on the knots on the board. We just got the one knot right in the middle there. Oh, cool. You see what other people do? Very good. Yeah, I don't think I've seen other people do it the way I quite do it, but uh, I know there are other people out there doing wood burning stuff. I know a lot of the people that I have stopped by before went out and bought torches. I mean, this is definitely easy to do, you guys. It's fun. Playing with fire. Lots can go wrong. I do gotta say, if you want to do this for yourself, you have to be okay with imperfections. There is no way to really control this wild flame, if you're doing it the same way that I'm doing it. Hey, thank you, I'm glad you like it. Right now we're just heading, getting this other side of the H. Kinda happy I haven't had to relocate the camera much. So I think kind of the viewers had flipped over a little bit. Tell me where you guys are watching in from. I'm coming to you from Omaha, Nebraska. If you're in the local area and want something uh, custom burned for you, you would be able to save on shipping. I do offer pickup. North Carolina, Canada, welcome, North, uh, let's see here, more Canada, Texas, welcome. I kind have of a lot of sap over here, so we're going to get a little bit of flame going on, that's alright. Kind of makes it interesting. Jamaica! Minnesota, welcome! Oh, you got in Florida. Alright, alright. Your girlfriend's here in, uh, in Omaha, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of sap here between the top of that H. We'll have to be careful as we're getting through there. Louisiana, West Virginia. Welcome, everyone. All right, let's uh, let's slide the board to get this R outside of your comments there. Let me pull it this way a bit. Now post something up to rest the board on over here. Nope, nope, 
No dipping in water going on here. All right, we are hitting this R up. Oh, is Minnesota having some nice weather? I think here in Omaha it got up to like 50 some degrees today. It was kind of nice. Go to work with a winter coat on, come out with just a t-shirt, you know. Surprised no Maroon 5 just came on the radio this evening. We're listening to, uh, oh, what is this? Fallout Boy Radio on Amazon Prime. Oh, almost 38 in Minnesota. Nice. Yeah, that would be nice for this time of year. Up there. Up north. My stepfather's from Minnesota, actually. Ashby, Minnesota. We used to go up to Minnesota quite a bit to do some deer hunting up there. It was always nice and snowy. Hey, how's it going, guys? Sorry if I don't get to your comments right away. I don't want to slip up and nail my hand with this flame. Actually, we're going to have to refill this uh, torch up here after I get done with this little section here. So to fuel it up, I use a triple filtered butane fuel. I don't know if it makes a difference what fuel you use. This is just what I like using. Just take it, put it right in there. Just like so. And light it back up. Now we're ready to go for another, you know, depending on what setting you're using. I think we got 40 minutes out of that one. Damn, we almost got uh, 45 minutes out of it. I've been doing this a little over a year and a half, maybe probably getting close to two years.
apologize if my head gets in the way, you guys. Hello from Iowa. Coming to you from Omaha, Nebraska. Thank you guys for the follows. I appreciate it. How many likes we're up to? 3,200 likes. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out and commenting. And if you guys like what you see, I do have several other videos on my profile. What I do is I speed these up for your enjoyment. Do a time lapse. Rotate it so the S is down here for you guys. So I don't have to move the camera. We'll nail that S and then we'll get the rest of the board burning. We are going to change the music. I'm feeling a little Papa Roach radio right now. Get a little more rock going on. Hey! 
So far, so good here in Omaha, Nebraska. Evening is uh, going along good. Wanted to do this burn. Uh, tomorrow I'll be burning some more of these boards for sale on Etsy and uh, private pickup here in Omaha. How's the volume on the music? Can you guys hear it okay? Or do I need to turn it up? Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. Awesome. When I talk, can you hear me over it? Yeah. Too loud or? Nope, yep. A little bit of sap here that's flaming up. It's all right. I gotta switch this song, I don't really care for it. Alright, there we go. Thanksgiving. Yeah, I was just saying, this year has gone by way too fast.
Let's get this board recentered, and then we are going to do just a general shade to the whole thing. All right, for this I'll turn up the heat a little bit more, and we'll just kind of start right here in the middle. All I am doing is just highlighting the grain of the wood. So as you can tell, after a finish goes on it, it really makes it kind of pop. Some areas are darker than others, but that's alright. Like I said, this art is not for perfectionists. If you want perfection, then you should probably consult someone that has a laser. Quite a bit of sap right in this area. I've set it on fire a little bit to get it to burn a little. There we go. the wifey I don't know if she's uh, watching right now um, she's in the basement crafting yep there she is here so I'm just using kind of a push method to do this every now and then I'll do a pull if you do a pull it's go leave that the it's go burn it because whoo that was hot it's this flame here I mean it's hot all the way out you know eight inches so I'm using the push so I can kind of control how dark I want it to be Plus it helps when I'm between letters. You know, I can drop the flame on this side and I only have to block the heat over here with it. So it doesn't get onto my letters. I think it's more preference than anything. I don't know if there's any sort of theory with it, but 
just the way I do it. For those of you hanging around, if you like what you see, I do have other videos I speed up. I'll take this live and time lapse it so that you can see the burn in about 20 seconds. So I've done that with a lot of the other boards I've done. So please feel free to click over and check that out. Also, if you haven't hit that follow button, if you like what you see, please do so. You'll be informed uh, when I go live again. A lot of times I'll do like a little uh, notification the day before. I'll do a little mini TikTok and let people know.
sap in this area. Hey, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Flip the board so you guys can watch me do the rest of this word here. Times of
Yeah, so this board over here has a polyurethane uh, finish on it. It's like glass. Uh, it really, really brings out the detail. This board will be finished with a tongue oil. So it will give it kind of a nice soft sheen. Uh, it kind of goes along with uh, the trim of uh, this customer has. It was all finished with tongue oil, so it will look good. Yeah, I think the tongue oil will actually darken the board a little bit. Um, so I'm kind of anxious to see how it's going to turn out. We'll even make the letters on the inside a little darker, I believe. Not sure, I've never used tongue oil before, but... That's what customer wants. going on with this can.
together and get the other side. Hey, this is what the customer wanted, against my judgment. Alright guys, I'm going to take off for the night. I'm just burning the very edges here where you guys can't even see. So, if you guys like what you've seen and want to check out the rest of my page, please feel free to do so. Appreciate the follows, the likes, comments, and shares. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving.